Hey guys, Adam here from Sleep HQ. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your data from your CPAP machine into Sleep HQ. Uh, to start off with, I've created a new account on Sleep HQ and I'm logged in in my browser over here. And then over on the other side, I've got my SD card. So I've taken the SD card out of my CPAP machine and I've plugged it into my computer just using a regular SD card reader. So you can see down here that that's it there. That's my SD card. And these are all of the files that sit on my SD card in there. So first step, when, you, when I log into my uh, Sleep HQ account, I've got this little message that says that I'm new and to go to data imports to get started. So I'm going to do that and click on the data imports, uh, click over to the data imports page. Now, the easiest way to do this and the way that's going to work for most people is just to select everything that's on your SD card, like I've done here, and drag it straight across into this file upload section. So that's going to work for 90% of the people out there. If you've got a lot of data on your SD card, like if you've been using your CPAP machine, the same one for two or three years, then you might have a lot of data. Like you could have two or three gigabytes worth of data on your SD card. And that's a lot of data for a browser to have to ingest at one time. So what you can do if that's, if that's your situation is you can break that upload up into smaller chunks. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Uh, what I've got here is an Essence 10 uh, SD card, but if you're on an Essence 11, it's going to look fairly similar. So what we've got is a whole bunch of files that are called identification and settings and things like that. And then I've got this folder called data log. And the data log folder is the one that contains the bulk of the information. So that's going to be the really big folder. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything that's not the data log folder, and I'm going to drag that in. So you can see that's added 45 files. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the data log folder and I'm going to drag in just a few of the files that are in here. So you can see all of these folders are timestamped. These are all dates. So if you have a look at this last one down the bottom here, we've got 2022-01-30. So that's the, from my data from the 30th of January 2022. And I can select as many or as few of these folders as I want to drag in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my old data just for a demonstration here. But for you at home, what I would recommend is you probably start with your most recent data. Okay, so what you might want to do is say grab the last month or so of your data and drag those folders in. What I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start the other way. I'm going to start with my oldest data first. So that way I can give you an example of what it looks like going forward for when I plug in my SD card in the future as well. So uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to grab everything from the start up to the 14th of January like that. Grab those folders and drag them in and you can see there they've been dropped into our little file uploader. So I can click over into here and see exactly which files are being uploaded. And it's telling me that I'm uploading 421 files. So once I'm ready and I'm happy with the files that I've queued up here, I'm going to hit the begin upload button. Uh, if I've made a mistake, I can hit clear files and that's going to clear everything out. Let me allow me to start again. Uh, also, if you don't have the ability to drag and drop because you're on a, a touch device or something like that, you can also hit this select files button and that's going to bring up a file browser like this. And I can do the same thing. I can select folders and uh, everything out of there instead. So the idea is that you are dragging things in tends to be the easiest way. But if you aren't able to do that because of the device you're on, you've also got that select files option. Once I'm happy with all the files that I've queued up ready to go, I'm going to say begin upload. So we do that. And now my upload is actually processing. So I'm going to let that one run through. It's going to take a couple of minutes. Depending on the speed of your internet connection uh, will depend on how fast this goes. So the faster your internet connection, the faster this is, the data is going to be uploaded. Um, so again, if you're having problems, if it's running really, really slowly for you, uh, just start with smaller chunks. You know, you might want to start with only a week or a month's worth of data. And then as you figure out how much uh, and how quickly it's running, you can start to upload larger and larger chunks of data. So I'm going to let that one run through and then I'll show you the next step in the process. Okay, so that upload has just finished and I've got this little notice saying that it's uploaded and the data is now being processed. So you can see down here, it now comes up under the data import section and it's telling me that I've uploaded the data from the 22nd of December 21 to the 14th of January 22 and that's now going to be processed in the background. So as soon as that data is processing, I can now click around the app and leave the page and do whatever I want and I'm not going to lose anything because that, that processing is all happening in the background. Uh, now, what we're going to pretend here is that it's now been another couple of weeks and I've got some more data that I need to upload into Sleep HQ. So that's why I thought I'd start in this demonstration with the oldest data first, because this is what's going to happen in the real world. You're going to do a data upload and then a week or two is going to go by and say, I'm ready to upload some more data into Sleep HQ again. So you plug your SD card back into your computer and now it's going to have more information on it. It had all of my original information, but now I've also got all of the data up to say the 30th of January. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag in some more data. But what we do when you do your uploads, Sleep HQ registers all of the files that have already been processed. So what that means is that I can drag in everything from my SD card. So watch this. I'm just going to drag the whole SD card across and it's telling me that I'm uploading 615 files. So my last one, I uploaded 421. This time I'm uploading 615 files. So it's, it's telling me that I'm uploading more files because it's got everything from my SD card queued and ready to go. But watch what happens when I click begin upload. It jumps straight to 6970 percent because all of those other files had already been uploaded the last time around. So it doesn't need to it doesn't need to re-upload them or to reprocess them. So what's going to happen when you do this? If you're only uploading a day or two's worth of data because it's only been two days since you last did an upload on Sleep HQ, it's going to be really, really fast and and also really easy. You don't need to remember which files you uploaded last time. Drag the whole thing in. Sleep HQ will keep track of which files we've seen before and only upload the new ones. So you can see straight there, it was really, really quick for me to upload my, my most recent data when I did that. And that was this is with two weeks worth of data uh, in there. So the idea is that hopefully you're doing this a little more regularly than that because we want to be checking back in you know, every couple of days on what's going on. Uh, but if you do let it run out for a little bit, like, you know, uploading a few weeks worth of data should be fairly quick for you to do. So you can see that that second upload is almost finished and we've almost finished processing the data from my first upload. Uh, so there you have it. It's really simple. And again, once you've got that first upload done, even if you do need to break it down into sort of a few small chunks, you can do as many chunks as you need to. And you can let them process in the background. So like this one, we're still processing that first chunk, but I'm already uploading my next one. So if you're doing that, if you're in a situation where you've got two or three years worth of data on your SD card, you can just be uploading in whatever size chunks you're comfortable with for your internet speed. Uh, upload them, hit begin upload, let them process. And then as they're, as they're running in the background, you can see I've now got two, uh, two imports that are processing in the background. They're all just going to happen uh, on the server when it's ready you'll see that we've got this little spinner that happens over in the data imports menu as well. So that will go, once those uploads are finished processing, that will go back to the regular icon. So as soon as that's done, you can click around the app, use it. If you've already got existing data in there, I can be going in and exploring the stuff that's already been processed. Uh, and then as my uploads are finishing, I'm gonna obviously see more and more data coming in. So there you go. That's basically how we go about uh, getting data if you're on a, a computer. If you're on a touch device, the process is essentially the same thing, but you're probably going to be using this select files button instead of being able to drag and drop. All right, I hope that helps. Uh, if you've got questions or if you hit any issues with it, make sure you let us know. We'll have uh, in the help center, there'll be a link to our email address. So you can drop us a line, let us know if you have any issues and, uh, and we can help you to get it sorted. All right, thanks guys.